Just taking a look at the odds for Manchester City against Arsenal. Finally, we're going to see these two sides face off. It's coming tomorrow in the FA Cup fourth round. Man City favourites coming into this one. In fact, they've won all five Premier League meetings between the two sides, scoring 12 goals in those games. But this season, it is Arsenal who are on top right now, as you can see when it comes to the position. Five points ahead of Manchester City. Goals in Manchester City's favour. A big part of that is Erling Haaland right now. Goals against Arsenal. A little bit tighter at the back in this aspect. We're going to welcome in Don Hutchison to talk more about this one. What a huge game it is, Don. The wait is over to see these two sides against one another. I can't wait. Can't wait, Kay. And I'm of the persuasion where normally in an FA Cup game or Cup ties... I don't think it has any bearing whatsoever what's going to happen in the league campaign pushing for the title. This game, I actually think it does. I think it's, it, it's, it's, a, it's a chance for Guardiola to go very strong. Not sure what his team lineup's going to be, but he knows he's playing against Arteta, who will go strong, I would imagine. And I think this is a psychological game because if, if Arsenal win it, they'll prove to everyone, because we'll all have eyes back on the Premier League as soon as the game is finished. Then we'll say, ah... They've passed another test, even though it was a cup competition. If City, say, win 2 or 3 nil and make it easy and comfortable, then we'll all say, ooh, I wonder if Arsenal might get twitchy in the remaining games in the Premier League, where they've got to play each other twice. So I just think this game has so much riding on it, psychologically, what the managers do, the players that are playing against each other. It, it's an amazing game to look forward to. Do you know, it's interesting that John said that because it's something that came up yesterday, whether a cup game would have any bearing on the title race. Don thinks it would. Do you? I do. Mm -hmm. I, I think what's, what's different this time around, and, and I'm a Don, normally these cup games don't really have that much of a bearing. I think what's different this time around is that neither the, this is the first meeting between these two this season. Um, ordinarily, by, by now, Mid, -jan mid end of January, they, they would have played each other at least once and just one, once more to come. So that, I, I think, is, is telling. And then also, I think both these teams, certainly Arsenal, are, are playing the best football I've seen from them for quite some time. City, maybe not as, as flowing as they have been, but we all know exactly how good this City team can be. So with everything at stake, I think this is... This game, more so than in, 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 in any season go, gone by, has, provides a psychological edge to whoever wins, or at the very least, to, these, to two coaches who know each other well, to sit down and review, especially if, if both teams, if both managers name strong teams, to sit down and see how they maybe can get the better of the other in those, in those telling league games. Well, it's, uh, if indeed it has an impact, it'll be a subjective one. This has nothing to do with objectivity, because objectively speaking, Arsenal has the potential of being eight points ahead of Manchester City. And that won't change whatever happens in tomorrow's game. So this comes down to feelings. You know how I am about feelings, Shaq. I, 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 yep. <laughs> uh, I'm a little worried about uh, your feelings. Feelings, well. right? And how the player is feeling. The only way that I think this has an impact on Arsenal, a negative impact on Arsenal, is that if they get destroyed by Manchester City and that puts a doubt that hasn't been there. If they lose to Manchester City, it can happen. But if they get destroyed, it's a different story. I see an Arsenal team right now that couldn't care less about hurdles and passing tests. I see a team that is confident, that shows up to training, excited to be there, and knowing full well that if they play up to their standard, up to their abilities, they can beat anybody in the Premier League, regardless of whether this is an FA Cup, Premier League, whatever the competition may be. I don't think their feelings are going to be heard if the game is competitive. And you and your feelings. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm what's a, your I'm a feeling? <laughs> are these two sides going to play full strength teams? So they're both managers going to so. do that. I think so. I think they have to, Kay, because of what the lads are saying. Because it's it, it's it's got so much emotion on it. it. It can change. It can it can change everyone's feelings in terms of what the written press are going to say if Man City destroy them, and vice versa. By the way, if Arsenal turn up and and wallop Man City, then everyone will go, "Oh wow, Arsenal are the real deal," which they are. But it depends on the score line. So I've I've got them. I've got both managers being strong. I see Mares up against Zinchenko could be a great battle. I see Thomas Partey up against Rodri, middle of the park, great battle. I think. Erlen Haaland would start as well. It depends on how Guardiola sees it. I was watching his press conference tonight, Kay, 
and he was unbelievably relaxed. He was really relaxed. He was really complimentary towards uh, Mikel Arteta. He was saying when he was his number two, he was saying um, he was always cheering the goals on when Guardiola turned round. He said Arteta was always fist pumping him and high five, high fiving him. And he said he turned around one day when Man City banged in a couple of goals and he turned around to celebrate with Arteta and Arteta done nothing. And Guardiola went, ah, it's Arsenal. And he said, this guy loves Arsenal. So he, he was really complimentary. Pep was really relaxed. Um, and I, ju I just think they have to go strong. I think if one manager doesn't go strong and they lose the game, it's one of them where you go, man, you've just lost a little edge. Even in the title race, you might have lost an edge because everyone will be talking about whoever loses this game. Not so much the winners, it's whoever loses it. Where's the battle going to be won then, Don? Oh, you can pick anywhere, Kay. You, you can pick anywhere. Normally, as a central midfield player, I would be looking at Thomas Partey, who, who's having a season of his life, in my opinion, up against Rodri, who makes the game at times look very easy. Uh, the form man, I think, is Riyad Mahrez. We mentioned Ellen Haaland, of course, so whether they can keep him quiet. But Mahrez up against Zinchenko, that should be amazing. But you can literally, you can literally, wherever your eyes are drawn in this type of game, it's one of these games, if you're commentating on these games, they're easy. You've just got all your notes in front of you, you throw them away, and you watch the game unfold right in front of your eyes because there's going to be so many superstars on show. How do you expect the game to actually play out, Shaka, given what we've seen, especially from Arsenal in these recent wins? Um, I, I, I think you... I think Guardiola goes, goes, goes full strength, he normally does, um, and I'll be surprised if Arteta doesn't match him. I'm, I'm with Don on that. I think both managers go, go very strong. I think you see Arsenal start very high tempo, as they always have, um, and, and put City under pressure like nobody has done for, for quite some time. Um, I, I just feel that, that Arsenal, the pace they have in midfield, the way they play the game, how they press, uh, it's going to give City a test that, that they don't, they, they haven't faced for, for, for quite some time. Is there any chance, though, that Mikel Arteta second guesses himself and goes a little bit more defensive against this Man City? No. Team? Okay. You want to talk about feelings again? <laughs> <laughs> if that happens, then let me tell you, it's a reason to be concerned. Mm -hmm. You don't change who you are at this point. You are leading the Premier League, right? Yes. And you have been outstanding and you've been confident. And this team feels like they can beat anybody. But then you go into that locker room and you say, hey, guys, you know, I have a master plan here. We're going to be defensive. We're going to be passive. <laughs> We're going to be conservative. Uh-uh. No, you don't change it now. You dance with Manchester City. You go into Manchester City and you take the game to them. It may work out, it may not, but you, not, you do not become conservative because that says a lot about what the mindset is, not so much of the players, but of the manager, that he fears this team so much that he's going to sit back. I don't think that's happening. I think that's the absolute worst thing that Arteta could yeah. play, play defensive. I, you, Arteta just says to, to Arsenal, go out, Play your game. You're the best in, team in the league. Go out there, show it. Even if you lose, you stick with that message because nobody thinks, Sydney, I, I, I don't think Arsenal are going to go the rest of the season winning every single game between, between now and, 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 and May. But what you have to do is prepare this team for when they do stumble, when they do lose, that they, the one thing that isn't dented is that self-belief. So go out and play. You're the best in the league. Even if you lose, you come back and say, well... We're still the best team in the league. We just had an off day today. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.